Hey guys, Crewman here, and this is my 2700 mining rig. Uh, you guys watched that, I don't know if you guys watched that video I did uh, a few weeks ago, I'll link it down below. Um, I basically wanted to see how well a 2700 could mine. I think at the time it was making 18 cents. It's probably making somewhere similar to that right now. Not the best, but not the worst. Well, in this video, I want to take this 5600X that is covered in thermal paste that I actually popped out of my test bench uh, I was fortunate enough to have someone sell me a broken 5800X 3D that I was able to repair. I'm going to do mining tests on that too. And I want to put this 5600X into this mining rig. Because basically what I want to see is, I want to see how much this thing makes per day to see if maybe I just want to keep it and toss it into this mining rig. Essentially the only thing this rig is missing is RAM. Now I have a 64 uh, gig kit that I am going to sell that I could just pop in here temporarily uh, because it's 3,600. So basically all I would need to do is spend, uh, I don't know, 15 bucks on a um, kit of 3,200 RAM or maybe just trade some random parts for one. Point is I can basically get this mining rig up and running for free. So I'm going to see if it's worth keeping this or selling it. Plus it's just some cool content and I kind of want to start testing some more CPUs. Maybe we can find some gems in the rough. Now I do want to say before I start building this, remember when you test CPUs, if you have older CPUs, as I discovered in the first video, it's probably best to already have all the parts and not have to spend any money. Like with this rig, I'll have to spend 15 bucks. Uh, and if I sell these, I'll make a profit on those. So I'll actually be spending basically nothing. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to take out the 2700 on this and install the 5600X. So let's get to it. All right, so 16,000 BIOS updates later, or actually it was like four-ish. Um, long story short, I had to take the 5600X out of this motherboard rig because it wasn't posting, and uh, I just was like, wait a minute. So I actually needed to do literally four BIOS updates. So now we're going to, I mean, it's, it's all updated, so now we're going to take the uh, 2700 out of here that I had before and we're going to put the 5600X back in so let's try this again and it posted 5600X is working in this BIOS uh, if there's people who want me to do a video on this I'll do a video on how to update the BIOS on these older motherboards because they're definitely worth it they're super cheap so you might as well take advantage of it uh, so it's something I could do and you see we got to just hit Y and we're good to go so now I'm going to get into the BIOS and we're going to overclock this thing. All right, you can see in the BIOS right now, um, I really don't know how to uh, overclock this. So I don't know over the frequency, we're just going to take it to 36 and we're going to take it to, I don't know, let's try 0.95. I'm going to get greedy on the voltages. Let's try 0.95 volts. I don't really know how to overclock this thing, but that generally seems to be, oh, hold on, what you should do, uh, XMP settings, we're going to take it to the XMP profile, now I know you can go a little crazier on your overclocks, but that's not something I'm really going to bother doing, so let's just make sure it boots. All right, so I haven't rebuilt this rig yet because I'm still testing it and, uh, you know, I'll probably get to it in a day or two we get this rig rebuilt. Um, but I do want to go over the power consumption so you can see it. It's been mining for a day. It hasn't crashed, so it's stable. We're getting about 79 watts at the wall. You can see it right there. And this is mining, uh, this is mining Zephyr. I am mining cubic on the rest of my farm, but I have no idea how you would even test GPU profitability on that. So we're going to do that. We're just going to leave it on Zephyr. This is generating a ton of heat, actually. So without further ado, let's go inside and let's go check out the profitability of this thing. All right, guys. So let's plug this into the calculator. You can see up here I have what it's what it's getting, the 5600X. I ran it for 24 hours. 
Uh, so we plug it in to Zephyr. I'm sorry, we plug it into the calculator on hashrate.no. And let me move my beautiful head. We see that it's getting about 12 cents. So to give you an idea of what 12 cents equals in GPU mining, you're talking like, I don't know, probably like a 3050, right? We're looking at maybe like a 3050, a 1080, like old GPUs that I would not recommend mining with. Uh, yeah, C3050 right above me. Um, so one of the reasons why CPUs don't tend to scale on the lower end is because you still need a a CP or uh, you still need a power supply. Even if let's just say you don't need a power supply, because let's just say you're you're using multiple power supplies, right? But you still need a cooler, you still need RAM, you still need a motherboard, and you still need an SSD or or a boot drive. So let's say you're using like a ten dollar cooler. Like let's just say you're using the stock cooler, right? Let's say you're using the stock cooler. So that's like ten dollars. Let's say you find a forty to fifty dollar motherboard. So that's fifty dollars. Let's say you find uh, RAM for thirty bucks. So that's eighty dollars, right? Uh, you need the stands. You don't even need a stand. You can put it on a box. So you're at eighty dollars, right? For the bare minimum, this CPU is still going to cost you about a hundred to a hundred and twenty-five on the used market. I don't. I just checked Amazon. They want like one fifty for it. I would not pay one fifty for this thing. You would be looking at like two hundred dollars to build one of these rigs and it makes 12 cents a day i don't think i would be spending 200 dollars to make 12 cents a day you make a lot more than that gp mining now another problem with the 5600x if let's just assume you own one like you own all these parts which is the point of testing these old parts out like i owned everything i was like let's see how it does for 12 cents a day right that is not worth it you could sell the 5600X for, I don't know, I think I could probably get 125 for it on the used market. And you could get a 50 or a 3900X for one, I don't want to say 160. So a $40 upgrade. And let's look and see what that makes. Uh, so they use about 100, let's say 110 watts. And they get about 13,000. right uh yeah so you're looking at about 35 cents which is low right now zef profits seem to be down but the point is you could for 40 more dollars like like assuming you have all of these parts right for 40 more dollars you will double your profit seems worth it to me so the 5600x is a no-go for mining unless you weren't going to sell it you have it in your gaming seat PC and you just wanted to mine with it while you mine with your GPU, sure, why not? But like, even if you own one, I would sell it and upgrade to a more profitable miner. And I certainly would not buy this thing to GPU mine with. So thank you for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching me BIOS update what felt like 500 times. And thank you for watching this video. And I hope it helped. I will do more cpu mining videos as i find random cpus or i end up with them uh, i wanted to test cubic on this thing but i have no idea how to even remotely test cubic profitability at this moment other than farm wide and i'll do a video on that in the future so anyway guys i hope you watch this video thank i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching please like and subscribe group man out